George North is a huge loss, I think, yeah. for, for the Lions because he's that guy who can run into traffic and, and get you a few metres. He can get you momentum. Uh, that's why I reckon, Ryan, your Scottish mate, Duan van der Merve, now George is injured, has got a better chance. They might have to try and get that momentum from, from their wingers, uh, like Nadolo does at Leicester, um, etc. So, yeah, I mean, the midfield's tough, man. I, I think it's as challenging a position as scrum half. We're all talking about scrum half in this country and who's going to go, but I think the, the midfield is similarly really difficult to pick. Yeah, yeah and, and also then you look at the kind of the you know, selections previously um, with Gatlin and, and obviously the, the Welsh link, you know, having a bit of experience of the Lions tour in there as well. So, so I suppose uh, Jonathan Davies will, will definitely be, be there and thereabouts. Um, you know, he can play at 12 and 13. Uh, but same question, where do you play him and who are you partnering with? You know, I'm a, I'm a big believer of, of partnerships in the midfield, you know, a combination and really understanding each other and, and no one kind of, you know, pops out. So, yes, yeah, sometimes you put two great players together and they just, you know, it works, but uh, it's, it's risky as well. So um, Then you have to start point. looking more inside. So you got a 10. Who is the least... What's the 10 you least want to play against, Springboks wise? Like, are you more worried about the attacking game of Finn Russell and what he can do in attack? Or are you more worried about someone that's going to kick the lever off the ball like a Johnny Sexton or something like that? Yeah, well, thank goodness I'm not playing. I don't have to make these decisions. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but it's, yeah, you know, I, I always like if, if you go into a World Cup final um, tomorrow, you know, I always ask the question, you know, who would I want as my flop? Would it be Johnny Sexton or would it be Finn Russell? And I'd, I'd probably go Johnny Sexton. And yes, Finn, Finn Russell has got the ability to really break open a game and he's got that X factor and he can change things. Uh, um, but, you know, I don't know if I would want to go into a game starting with him, you know, as a, as a teammate, whether I'd have the, the confidence. Um, I might eat my words, you know, in, in two, three months' time. But, you know, that, that's kind of my view. And I think... I think he can. He's the kind of player that can have fantastic impact off the bench. Um, you know, playing in the half felt as well um, at altitude. It, you know, the last twenty minutes becomes. <clears throat> excuse, excuse me. The last twenty minutes becomes really important because you know sometimes you just can't keep up and um, and you can kind of keep the wall there for for sixty sixty five minutes and then it really breaks open. Forwards get tired in the last um, the 20, 15 minutes and. Um, and where a guy like Finn Russell can, can totally break defences apart then. So that, that might be the, you know, where they use him. Um, is Farrell still in the, in the running? You know, is, is bigger the one that they'll go for? Yeah. I, th I think Gatlin's biggest problem is that in some positions, he just has so many options. There's no yeah. one guy that, that, that's just so much better than the others. Um, so... Well, John, yeah. knowing, um, knowing what you need to do to get the job done in South Africa... Who would you pick for your starting lines 15 for the first test? I'd play the worst players ever because I want South Africa to work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so, so you're asking the, uh, the, the Lions team I would select? Yeah, I am. Guys, this is so difficult. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go... Well, give us your Lions back line. You, you don't care about forward, Sean. Yeah, <laughs> I do care. If if the fours don't perform, then we never get the ball, right, Jamie? Yeah, fair, yeah. Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I just said it to make you happy, right? Um, but let's let's start with the back line. Um, I'm gonna start with ten. <laughs> it's bloody hard, isn't it? Yeah. When yeah. people ask that yeah. question, like, yeah. where do you start? I'm gonna I'm gonna start with ten. Um, I'm gonna go sexton. Um. I'm actually going to go, you know, if if fit, assuming that Manu is fit, I'll go I'll go Manu um, and Henshaw. I'll go the two of them. Um, wings, um, uh, what the Reese Sermat? What, what, sorry, I got uh, Lewis Reese Sermat. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The young rock star from Wales. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll go with him. I'll go with him. Um, speed. Yeah, you got the speed. I mean, it's been fantastic. Um, you know, and I'll go. I'll. I'll go. It's, it, it'll be a bold call, like a bold call. But I'll go. Duan van der Merwe. 
I think, you know, what what you want, what you what you need to be able to, um, um, you know, the the kind of pressure that will be put on you from a South African point of view. I, I think he'll be able to to take that. I think he's got the the physical edge. You know, he's he's not just big. He can, you know, he's got the speed as well. Um, but he's also not bad in the air. So um, again, there are, there's so many. I mean, Jacob Stockdale for me was like a shoe in maybe a couple of months ago, and and you know suddenly he's he's not even even in the mix anymore. And I suppose fullback uh, is the the easiest of the lot, and we'll we'll see a, a Scotsman starting there at 15. Um, so so Stuart Hogg at, at 15. Um, Bloody hell, two Scots in there already. This yeah. is great sorry. for you, Ryan. What's going on, John? What's going on? <laughs> sorry, I, I forgot that Duan van der Merwe is a Scotsman. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and and purely, purely because of, again, combinations, um, you know, I'll, I'll then go Conor Murray at nine uh, with Johnny Sexton. Um, you know, they've played so much rugby together. Uh, they will provide a, a, a solid kicking game, and you know Connor has been been on the tour before. He knows, you know, he, he knows what it what you need to be able to do, what how you need to deliver. Um, so I'll go there. Um, forwards, um, back row. I'll go Falatau. I'll go. Um, uh, what, what's the what's the other Scots, Scotsman's name? Hamish, Hamish Watson. Watson. Hamish Watson. Mm. Hamish Watson. I'm just testing you guys, okay? Um, I'm surprised you know the forwards' names, mate. Yeah, uh, I never knew my own forwards' name. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'll go Curry. Oh, it dear. might. It, it might limit you a little bit in terms of, of line outs, uh, but again, I think the game, the, the kind of player you need, I think they, they might be, they might terrorize the box, you know, at, at breakdown time as well. So um, that'll be good. Uh, Itoje, Alwyn Jones in the, in, uh, as the locks. Um, and then the front row, I will go. Again, I was swaying towards a Makovin Apollo, he's totally gone off the boil um i go take furlong at tight head i will go i will go owens at two ken owens at two who am i going at you said guys you're wow. working jones are loose you know what you're doing Fe- so well. fellow welshman the other boys had time to prepare, and I put you on the spot. So you're, and you're being honest as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. Win Jones. Um, what's it, Xander Ferguson? The the, the is he the loose head right for Scotland? Yeah. Um, but Win Jones, yes. Win Jones. Yeah, you know, Kean Healy again. Maybe, maybe not. Um, Win Jones probably the one to go with with Owens and Tart, um and Furlong. Yes. You know they know going over there. This isn't just something that's that happens in South Africa, I guess in New Zealand or Australia either. Players only have one shot in their career at playing against the Lions. You know, you've, you've mentioned a few names who might make a second tour, but for, for the majority of players in South Africa, it only comes around once in their career and they want to, they want to grasp that with both hands. They don't want to be remembered as a side who lose against the Lions. Um, so that pressure's on and that pressure, you know, often brings out the best in players. So, yeah, it's going to be an amazing series against the backdrop of a very different world, I guess. Yeah, Jamie, and uh, look, and I, I can only relate to to my experience um, in my career. And I look back at you know the the number of test matches that I played, and um, and 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 some of the jer- you know rugby jerseys that I that I still have, and some of those that I swapped. And I mean, your your jersey of of, of two thousand and nine, uh, you know, where we swapped is, is one of my most cherished. Um, ones that I have, you know, and and in terms of the the memorabilia that I have of my career, you know, that is one that I, uh, you know, that I almost value the most, uh, you know. So uh, it's extremely special, and you don't want to miss out. Uh, and when you do get selected, there a lot of emotion goes with it, and with a backdrop of what's happened in the last uh, eighteen months, you know, back to twenty nineteen, 
there will be even more emotion from a South African point of view. And it, it, it might be able, you know, it might be a situation where they actually need to tone down a little bit, you know, otherwise the, the emotion can take over uh, as a negative. 